Hi, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and I'm getting back to you. I kind of put a few things together so we wouldn't take so awful long. The Private McShay was a piece of cake. It was a piece of cake. I did have it coming in four pieces, though. I didn't do a good job of welding between the M, I mean the C and the S. And so this was one, two, three, and four. So four pieces, but that's still not bad. And so I glued it on. And I want to show you, when I'm doing a page, I try to make it as easy as possible. I lay it out first on my Cricut Explore. And you saw what I did, and I have everything out there so I know exactly what I want to do. But I kind of don't put everything down until I have it in its position and decide whether that's going to be all it's going to be, you know. So we've got Private McShea, we're going to have right up here. And the paper that I'm using is the same paper that I used on the other two pages I did from the Army. And what will happen is it'll be like a three-page section. This will hit first, and then the other two pages. So uh, Private McShea is on there. And I've got to still... Um, do my uh, my what do I want to say my um, my journaling the journaling on this page with Jason I have to do that yet I haven't done it I wanted to get it so it was almost put down and it'll be in the final picture but it won't be in this one it'll be in the final picture though have this ready to put his picture on. Mm -mm -mm. I want this to be straight. And it is. Okay. That's my Jason. He, I, I hate these pictures from the military. You know, the boys always try to look real tough. And it's so hard for me because my son smiles all the time. And he's really, uh, he's an attractive young man. Well, now he's hes going to be 40. Uh, can you stand it? And I'm just getting the scrapbooking done. But I want to get this put on so I have a good idea of where I'm going to put it so that everything fits fine. And see, I had to move the little guy over to the, to the right a little bit more so his elbow fits in. So we want to just kind of glue him from the neck down. And I am going to use my nifty handy foam tape because I'm going to lift him up. Now I am not going to put the tape on him until I have everything ready to put down. And usually I don't put down the um, the uh, the whole thing and glue this down until I have everything. I, I mean, if I've got something lifted up. But in this case, I'm going to have to because I'm not sure, quite sure how far he's going to, well, he's going to have to go out like that. I suppose I could write it from there, but this way I can kind of go around. But it'll work out fine. It'll work out just fine, I'm sure. And I sure enjoy scrapbooking again to be back in that. And you really feel like you accomplished something when you got a whole page done, you know. And I'm trying to do a page a day. Um, some days I get two pages done when it's a two-page spread. Other days I only get one done. Today it's only a one. But hubby and I went out. Oh, we had a delicious lunch. Now I have to tell you, I have never had Alfredo in my life. And we went to Red Lobster and normally I get my fish, you know, catch of the day. And um, this time they had Elf, uh, Cajun chicken alfredo and I haven't had anything Cajun in a long time so I thought good grief that sounds so good so I ordered it it was delicious it was delicious but I could never eat that all the time because I tell you what that stuff's got to be fattening it had so much cheese and butter in there no wonder it was good right okay we've got all this down get this right up there we don't want to see it okay but I want you to see what the page looks like and then I'll I'll finish up with it you know what look what I did I did his head remember I said can't do his head 
Good thing it's after, you know, I did that after or before I pressed it down. And we know his elbow is going to be on there because remember I said I've got to keep his elbow on there. So we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Notice I don't have my wrist thing on. My wrist is killing me. But I can't wear that wrist thing all the time and it is getting better. So I'm going to put this so this is just about to the edge there and put our little soldier right here. You know why I have the cannon on here? The, I mean the tank. Jason, as a little boy, always loved tanks. So I thought, I'm going to have a tank on there for him. And he, when his sons ask him what that's for, he can answer the question. He liked tanks when he was a little boy. Back when my kids were little, you know, they still played cowboys and Indians and and uh, did the guns and the the um, the bow and arrows, and they just had a blast. And boys were boys and girls were girls. No one got hurt. Society was a lot different back then. Nowadays, they can't, of course. So we we won't get into that subject because it could go on and on and on. And I don't want my blog to be political in any way, shape, or form. And you know I have a new feature going on on Sundays. It's a religious one. Uh, you're welcome to join if you want to. If you're not into that, that's fine too. Just don't look on Sundays. That's an easy way to solve that, isn't it? Always draw me nuts when people say, oh, you got to take that off the air because it's not good. You know what? We always have off buttons and different channels. we got so many channels now, certainly someone could find something good somewhere. Right? So, oh, this is coming together good. And I want to get this little cannon out at the very end to stick out. And I've told you before why I put a lot of this on. I put it on basically because I don't want it to be concave. And so I put a lot on so it stays up. I raise it for a reason and I like it to stay up a little. See how he's got a shadow on him? I like that. Of course if I had the light on on the right of me, shine on me, I didn't even think of turning it on. Hubby was up all night with this. He's got sciatic. And so he's sleeping right now. He's taking a nap, and I'm taking the opportunity. There we go. He's got his tank on there. Even with a cannon. Okay, so we got that. And let's get Jason on here. Oh, I had some lady say on my army pages, leave me a message saying... Oh, congratulate your grandson for me. It's not my grandson. This is my son. I'm just really far behind on scrapping. But, what in about seven, eight more years it could be my grandson. Okay. I'm landing this, lining this up with this line right here. So they kind of go straight down. And I like that I can line up here and see the dots and get straight. There we go. And it's Jason. Now this I will put on as soon as, and I, when I'm done I'm going to, I mean when I turn the camera off I will do this. And uh, maybe I'll come back in and show it to you. But uh, I'm going to use the Cricut pen which matches all the colors that are in here and so it'll look real nice. I used that on the other army pages too so and it looked great. It looked like it matched perfectly. So that's our page and isn't that nice? Private McShay and I'll talk about how this was his um, graduation that we came to see and I thank you for joining us today. She's a sassy lady. Bye now. Hi, I'm back. I finally have it completely done. I uh, thought about it and thought about it, and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to say. I did put page one of three on here.
And I put, Jason, these photos are from your graduation. You were so proud to walk your family around the base. You had grown up so much in boot camp. We are so proud of you. We love how you took pride in your work and know you always will. You are blessed. And then I put on here Jeremiah 29, 11, because I want to start putting some verses or, you know, insinuating verses that he can look up or, you know, my children can look up later on. So that's it. The page is completely done. And I think it turned out pretty cute, don't you? Have a blessed day. Bye now.